Oh, hey neighbors, I'm just checking in on our new little bunny. Oh, he's just so dang cute. It's funny though, I had a dream that in our last video, uh, Little Blinks, our little bunny told me that he's actually an undercover agent for the mom organization and he was sent here to be my new partner. Sheesh, a crazy, crazy dream, but whew, just glad it wasn't real. Oh no, Anthony, it definitely was not a dream. It is in fact, 100% true. Oh, that's what I was afraid of. <music> Greetings and salutations, neighbors. Anthony here, and welcome to another Anthony Around Town video. This is the story of a single dad who makes videos about things that his kids just find really cool. And I just found out that my new pet bunny is actually an undercover spy agent named Agent B. Okay, okay, so we got to get to the bottom of this. So me and the girls, we call you Blinks, but uh, your code name is Agent B. It just doesn't make any sense, Blinks or Agent B or whoever you are. Like, how are you a talking bunny? Well, Anthony, it's actually quite simple. I may have the appearance of a common pollen lop bunny, but I am actually a creature known as the Jackalope. Now traditionally, a jackalope looks like a rabbit, but it has little antlers on top and it runs around the desert. Yes, that's me. That's what I actually am. I am actually a monster creature. Okay, okay, interesting. But you don't have horns. You just look like a regular bunny. How are you, how are you a jackalope and why do you just look like a bunny right now? Well, you see, Anthony, before I joined the mom organization, I was actually one bad dude. I used to run with a gang of art thieves. We would go all around the world and steal art from museum after museum. However, one day I was captured by the mom organization and doctor director and they gave me a choice. I could either spend the rest of my life in monster prison or I could serve my sentence by working for them undercover through the mom organization. Obviously, I chose the latter option. They were able to file off my horns so that way I would appear just as a normal bunny and I would go on undercover operations all around the world for them. Oh my gosh, actually, that sounds pretty wild. I'm sorry to hear that, Blinks or a Agent B. Um, neighbors, what do you think about Agent B's story so far? Comment down below and let me know because to me it still doesn't make any sense. Like, the girls and I have been planning on getting a pet bunny for a while. So, like, the, the first off, the, the gal that we traveled to to pick you up, she was just a normal bunny breeder. Like, she didn't say anything about monsters or anything like that. So, how did I go from meeting her to get a pet bunny to actually picking up my new secret agent partner? Well, Anthony, it's actually quite simple. Once Dr. Director heard that you were looking for a new pet bunny, he was able to arrange the whole thing. I went undercover as a normal bunny with the bunny breeder, and I was able to fit in as a member of her litter. However, to ensure that you and the girls picked me up, the mob organization purchased all the other bunnies from the bunny breeder, so that way I would be the only one left. So when you called to tell her that you were interested in purchasing a bunny for a new family pet, I would be the only one left, which means you had no choice but to bring me home. What, so you and Dr. Director arranged the whole thing? I just, I don't understand. Um, neighbors, are you getting all of this? This whole thing was a setup from the beginning. You are going to be my new partner? Uh, okay, so if you're my new partner and you're supposed to be helping me out on my missions and stuff like that, what, what am I supposed to know now? What are you supposed to tell me? What are we supposed to be doing? Let's just get into it. Whoa, no, slow down there, Anthony. Don't be getting all upset on me right now. Do you think I'm over the moon about the idea of coming here and being your partner? Actually, I 100% am not. Actually, before you, I had another partner that I worked with for years. And now I have to start all over here with you. So don't be giving me that attitude. Oh, wow. I'm, I'm sorry. I, uh, I guess I didn't think about the fact that obviously you would have had a partner before me. Um, sorry. I, I, I didn't mean to come off rude. Sorry. This whole thing's just kind of blowing my mind right now. I apologize. Uh, but, but what happened? 
to your old partner? How come you're not with him or her anymore? My old partner was a man named Mr. Champagne. Mr. Champagne? Hmm, that name sounds super familiar, doesn't that, neighbors? Have you, you've heard the name Mr. Champagne before? Uh, go back and watch my murder mystery video, the one where I snuck into a murder mystery dinner to try to find a four-digit code. I think there was a Mr. Champagne at that dinner. Let's see, I don't see anything, neighbors. Oh, hello, uh, welcome. My name is uh, Winston Vanderduke. Uh, sir, you haven't seen a, a four-digit code around here, have you, somewhere? Ah, oh, my name is Mr. Champagne. No, I've not. You have not. Okay. Oh, well, no, well, well, well. Okay. Well, let's get to the party. Thank you, my good sir. Yes. Well, unfortunately, one day Mr. Champagne told Doctor Director that he could no longer be my partner. He, uh, I guess, just no longer saw the value in having a funny partner. So he quit, and uh, he found himself a new partner, a new mysterious partner. That I don't even know about. So for all I know, he could be off gallivanting around the world with any type of creature, I don't know. But after all those years, all I know is that he tossed me aside like I was nothing but a bad carrot. Dang, I I'm sorry to hear that, Agent B. Uh, but you know what, I, I just want you to know, like I know I was kind of a jerk before, but I'm gonna really work hard to be the best partner for you. I'm gonna be the best partner I can be. Uh, I'm gonna have your back. And so, yeah, I think we, so I know in the mom organization, knowing Dr. Director, there's always some sort of mission we're supposed to be getting ready for and preparing for. So I haven't heard of anything. I haven't heard about a new mission um, on my end, but do you know what our next mission might be by chance? Yes, Anthony, I know exactly what the next mission is. Hmm, but however, I'm still not so sure about this partner arrangement we have. How do I know that I can even trust you? What? No, 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 you definitely can trust me, Agent B, trust me. Again, I know I was kind of rude before, but I have your back. No, you really, really can trust me. We're partners like this to the very end. Hmm, I don't know. Dr. Director does speak very highly of you. However, you do sort of remind me of my old partner, Mr. Champagne. After years, I thought I could trust him. He was like a brother to me, and yet here I am. So I actually have some information I need to share with you, but I just don't know if I can trust you yet or not. No, 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 Agent B, I'm nothing like Mr. Champagne. You can trust me, please. If we have a mission that we need to be preparing for and you have information, please let me know. Anything that I can do to show you that I'm in this to the very end with you, just tell me and I'll do whatever I have to do to prove myself to you. Hmm, very well, I guess I uh, should at least give you a chance to prove yourself. Uh, all right, I have three different challenges that I want to present to you. If you are able to complete these three challenges with flying colors, then I will accept you as my partner and I will share the information about our next mission. Yes, okay, cool. Thank you, Agent B. I'm always down for a good challenge. Neighbors, did you hear that? I have three challenges that I need to complete if I'm going to prove myself to Agent B and be his partner and get this info. So comment down below and let me know if you think I got this or not. Give me a big thumbs up if you super do believe in me. I believe in myself and I want Agent B to believe in me too. So Agent B, what's the first challenge? Let's go. The first challenge is going to test your mind. I'm going to give you a riddle and if you can solve this riddle, challenge one will be complete. A riddle, huh? Psh. No problem, laying on me, laying on me. Let's go, let's go. All right, here's the riddle. Name five consecutive days without saying the day's name or without using numbers. Hmm, all right, Amber, did you hear that? Five consecutive days, and I need to name those days without saying the day's name or without using numbers, so. I mean, it'd be easy if I could say Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, but that would be saying the day's name. And I can't say like the first, the second, the third, the fourth, that's using numbers. <sighs> this is a tough riddle. Neighbors, do you know the answer to this? Do you know how to solve this riddle? Comment down below and let me know. Hurry up, Anthony. Again, this is a mind test. 
and the clock is ticking. Okay, okay, yeah, okay, okay, I got it, I got it. Just give me a second, I'm thinking, I'm thinking. Man, he's so impatient. It would be nice if I had until like tomorrow to figure this out because then I could, wait a minute neighbors, tomorrow, today, those are, those are days, right? What, oh, oh, five consecutive days, oh, Oh, neighbors, I think I figured it out. Have you figured it out? Comment down below and let me know. I think I got it. Let me go tell Agent B. All right, Agent B, I think I've solved your riddle. All right, are you ready? So, five consecutive days without using their name or using any numbers. We have the day before yesterday, yesterday, today, tomorrow, and the day after tomorrow. Is that right? Hmm, very good, Anthony, very good. That is actually correct. Yes, we did it, neighbors. Challenge number one, complete. All right, all right, calm down. Don't get a big head now. You still actually have two more challenges to complete. And here is your next challenge. This is a bowl of Skittles. In this bowl, there's actually one M&M hidden in the bowl of Skittles. If you are able to find the one M&M hidden in this bowl of Skittles before I say the time has ran out, then you will have successfully passed this challenge. All right, neighbors, I'm trying my best to find the one M&M in this bowl of Skittles, but uh, it's not working out so well. I thought this one was an M&M, but as you can clearly see, it's actually a Skittle. What do you think, neighbors? Can you see the M&M in this bowl of Skittles? I don't know, this is definitely a lot harder than the last challenge, but I can't give up. I have to prove to Agent B that I am a good partner, so I'm gonna do the best I can. Tick tock, Anthony, tick tock. Tick tock. Okay, 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 uh, shoot, shoot, where is it, where is it? Wait, neighbors, hold on, hold on, hold on. What does that look like? What does that look like? That is definitely not an S, that's an M. Gotta do the old taste test just to be sure. Yes, that's chocolate, that's chocolate, which means I found the M&M in a bowl of Skittles. Yes. Impressive, Anthony, most impressive. I have to say, maybe the rumors about you being a talented monster agent are true. <sighs> well, I don't know about that, but all I know is that, you know, I always just try to do my best and I never give up. And speaking of that, Agent B, you said there were three challenges I had to complete today. I've already done two of them, so I'm kind of afraid to ask this, but what's the last challenge you have for me? This last challenge involves the stick of chewing gum next to me. You need to take this stick of chewing gum and blow the biggest bubble possible. Again, this is not bubble gum, this is chewing gum. If you complete this challenge, then I guess we'll have to have a conversation about you officially being my partner. <laughs> that was not very good. <sighs> ah. That one was better, but not super big. Let me try it one more time. Mmm, mmm, mmm. Mmm, wow, I have to admit, that was pretty impressive, Anthony. Well, it looks like you have officially completed all three of my challenges. Welcome to the team, new partner. Wow, thank you so much, Blinks or a Agent B, whatever. I just I just want you to know, seriously, I know that you were treated pretty badly by your last partner, Mr. Champagne, but again, I have your back. I want to be the best spy agent I possibly can, and I think uh, that working with you could be the start of a good friendship. So, uh, but I've completed all three of the challenges, and that means you said not only do I get to be your new partner, but you would share some information with me about the next mission. So, what's the information? Well, Anthony, it actually has to do with the fact that your YouTube channel has been hacked twice over the last couple of weeks. Yes, a hacker broke in to your family's old home movies and left a couple secret codes. These secret codes were Bigfoot and Arizona. And after studying these codes, the mom organization has been able to crack them. 
And what the codes mean is that you need to travel to the state of Arizona and find Bigfoot. That is your next assignment. We need to capture Bigfoot on film. We believe that he is the key to a big monster takeover event coming in the future. So Anthony, you need to pack your bags, get on an airplane, and head to Arizona to find Bigfoot. Um, okay. Guess, uh, guess I'm going hunting for Bigfoot.